Before we begin, let us hear a few words of Uh, hello, I believe we lost connection. Whole company, uh, they have uh, branches in Bangalore, Bombay, and US also. So please utilize this opportunity. Then uh, try to, uh, if you want, you can build your career in the data science. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. Now I request Dr. D. K. Sheikh Shavali sir to come and say a few words. Hi team, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We are not able to uh, ha to see you on the screen itself. Can you please check with the camera? Yeah, good afternoon to you all and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Lunch time at Dim Hatch ahead. And uh, I thank uh, congratulate uh, Dr. Anita Patel, Madam, for uh, judiciously, judiciously, you know, involving in conducting this webinar. It's very much required for you as students to know the branch in which you are doing what kind of career opportunities you have. I see many of the students, you know, doesn't know I VML subject match rate, usmech, my frog in the well, my loop rata, why loop rata me, usmech rate, bahar me me, ya far loop me, why rat me, as an error, right? Many of you doesn't know how a CV looks. You know that, isn't it? Curriculum, vete, kaisa banana, resume, kaisa banana, company, kya pushta, what the company demands, what the market demands. He doesn't know. Who should have to tell you this? Of course, one media is we have internet, right? But the buzzing words now in the market, we have this AI, MLs, DLs, DS, kya kya. Cyber security, blockchain, so many, these are all buzzing words. Right? You have this and you are seeing it daily when you open any app, when you try to browse something on the internet, you immediately get this form. Some Stanford University or Purdue University or some universities or Harvard is giving you a certification program. Pay 10,000 rupees, you get certified yourself for 12 weeks, 6 weeks. Are you not getting this? And how many of you have certificates? See, gentlemen, all of you listen here. Many of you have not done internships. Whether it is on data science, applications, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep, whatever it is. Python, whatever domain. We full stack is Zabardasaba, full stack development. It's very much required that when you want to build up a CV and you want to do any internship, maybe some of the good standard companies are also offering you to be a part of their projects which are on, ongoing in real time. They may go for an open kind of, you know, uh, a kind of uh, choosing the candidates. So in such aspects, you need to see that what is the weightage you have in your resume, in your CV. That do I have as many number of internships? Am I doing at least one or two internships from my side in every semester? 
am i doing any good projects very creative projects really good projects which can catch the eye of the entrepreneur or an employer just many of you doesn't have linkedin profiles how many of you have here hardly 20% am i right what about the remaining students it's very much required that in your cv you link your link linkedin profile then you put how many internships you are done how many projects really you are done so if you do four or five projects in your second year itself you will say hey it's so zabardast hai abhi second year mein in initial stage itself he has done four to five projects wonderful your cv will have weightage and you are you can have a little bit step ahead in your career do i have any certifications to my credit i have done any company certifications so all these are going to put a lot of weightage to your cv you really if you are done any startup really if you have an idea you prepare a prototype model of whatever it's connect to data science or aml whatever it is any application part of a specific domain put it on the linkedin and see the responses that you get from the startups or from the employers who are running the show in the market don't i see some of the students approaching sir ye kya hai guidance is also required but the internet is so vast enough that everything is available there still you have you want guidance yes we are there because we have been doing since long years right why i am telling you this is compared to other branches civil mechanical electrical other core engineering branches trust me you have 200% more opportunities when compared to these branches am i right so why not you utilize this opportunity why not you put more weightage to your resume is a practical baat kar raha hu main right so in this regard most probably next week uh, we are going to conduct a kind of workshop where all the students will be called and will be given you will be focused on how to prepare a cv and apply for internship how to prepare how to create a linkedin profile and put it on your cv and how to update as and when you complete your internship as and when you complete your project as and when you complete some new certification courses if there is nptr or connected to any certificate certified standard company certification how you are going to pile up that and put it in your linkedin profile trust me there are so many companies which are really looking for good candidates skilled candidates if you are one of them then you will be lucky right hope that definitely and i am here always for you to help and i have been helping to build the careers right thank you thank you sir for your wonderful and informative words now i request dr c v narsimhu sir to come on to the podium and say a few words Uh, good afternoon to uh, dignitaries and the dais a dean computer science engineering doctor Sheikh Shawali, and the Dean IQAC, Dr. Anita Patu, and convener of this program, and the Dean Academics, Dr. Sushma, Dean Global Education, and the Head of AML, Dr. Indumati, Head of the Department of Computer Science, Dr. Ramesh Babu, Head of IT, Dr. K. Nagarajan Garu, staff members, and my dear. students of computer science and allied branches so i am happy i appreciate that you all have participating in this see in this webinar enthusiastically though 
some of the some of your friends are playing in the, okay at the grounds okay i appreciate you all so you are uh, you are showing that a zeal and interest is there i appreciate you all so as you all know that data science uh, is a buzzword now these days artificial intelligence so data science so iot cyber security blockchain all these things so every field is having its own importance and particularly these are all upcoming technologies so i request you all to make use of the bubesh uh, uh, dahariya's uh, lecture and uh, you just make use it so while uh, are taking the lecture don't talk to your uh, friends or don't make noise any noise here so here the the very purpose is you can gain some knowledge about this okay so i appreciate the dean iqs anita patil for for uh, taking initiation in conducting this program and head of the department uh, csc and other departments hods also to allowing their students okay i thank you each one of you please have a happy learning thank you thank you sir before we begin the webinar let us hear a few words about what the company is more formally it is known as aga school founded in the year 2002 indoor india with support from bharti airtel to develop cross functional technology leaders Aegis School is run by Aegis Knowledge Trust. Aegis is the first institution in India to offer one year masters in telecommunication management (MPTM), which is commonly known as MS in telecom management and MBA in telecom management. Witnessing the success of industry academic alliance in the year 2015, Aegis and IBM collaborated to launch. India's first true data science program known as post graduate program in data science business analytics and big data also pgp in cyber security these programs are jointly certified and delivered by aegis association with ibm now let us hear more formally who is the speaker mr bhupesh dahariya ceo and trustee of aegis school of business data science cyber security and telecommunication over 25 years of experience as a serial entrepreneur in the field of telecom and education his career is focused on eradicating the birth penalty through offering quality education to the masses at affordable cost he founded aga school of business data science cyber security and telecommunication in the year 2002 In 2011, under his guidance, the first MBA on tablet on mobile university platform, which was unveiled by Mr. Sachin Pillai, Honorable Minister of State for Communications and IT Government of India, in operators, system integrator, mobile mobility vendors, enterprises, and career aspirants. In the year 2015. he launched india's first masters in data science with inputs of ai and big data in association with ibm subsequently also launched india's first post graduate program in cyber security applied ai blockchain and full stack development in association with ibm without further delay let us see what data science is all about I hand I hand over the mic to Mr. Bhuvesh Dahiriya sir. Good morning, good uh, good afternoon, good afternoon to everybody, and thank you so much for uh, this warm introduction. Uh, can all of you can hear me? Uh, please suggest. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You are audible. No, no, from other side, in Lord Institute. Can somebody can really give a response from Lord Institute? Can you really hear, Doctor Nita?
yes sir now you can begin the program sir okay wonderful glad so thank you so much dr neeta for extending your invitation i am really glad uh, to interact you yesterday after a couple of years and i am really happy to address uh, all the students and faculty members in this seminar uh, organized by you in career in data science uh, so let's let me just start sharing my screen i would request the lord institution uh, if they can turn the camera towards the audience so it will be easier for us in a virtual room we can have a feel that individuals are watching because it's possible yes i think that's a wonderful suggestion if the camera can be turned toward the audience okay so can all of you can see my screen my ppt just please respond is my screen visible is my screen visible yes sir is it visible hello tanvi uh, i believe yes, sir, vilayat, yes, is, vilayat is coordinating from lords institution so okay. vilayat if you can hear us so if you could tell us that okay the online participants can see the screen so we would request the coordinators if they can see the screen Yeah, it's visible, sir. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, sometime I will keep on nudging you because uh, what happens? Sometime you lose the bandwidth, so you start talking to yourself, right? So I will request in between. I will nudge you. Please respond. Okay. So let's start. So <clears throat> today's topic is career in data science, and uh, this is what our agenda is. So I'll talk about like uh, what is data science, some use cases, what are the opportunities, tools, skills. competencies required how do you can really launch your career in data science ai what is the difference between business analytics uh, data scientist right uh, and how this data science ai machine learning big data is related with each other and then we can be open for question answer please feel free to ask me question even in between right <clears throat> and i would uh, help you to really answer those questions so let's start what is data science so this modern data science came into vogue when uh, dr dj patel actually wrote a article in uh, 2012 and this article was published in uh, harvard business review and the article title was data scientist the sexy job of 21st century uh, if you have not read this article i would recommend all of you to really read this article and uh, and this article actually created ripple in the market and everybody started jumping on becoming data scientist now so before i actually try to define you what is data scientist i'll take you back into uh, some history about uh, data science and when this is started so way back in 2002 uh, 2008 uh, dj patel uh, who's indian origin and uh, he used to work for linkedin and later on he became the america's first chief data scientist so 2008 he along with his friend jeff who used to work for facebook so both of these gentlemen actually were sitting in the evening and they were contemplating that uh, what kind of other alternate designation they can really carry because they were doing the job of data analyst business analyst and uh, they were doing much advanced job than the typically business analyst data analyst because they were analyzing lot of unstructured data they were building up a data products and uh, just unlike business analyst data analyst they were not just simply analyzing the structured data and uh, they stuck with a uh, title which is data scientist to uh, justify the work which they were doing and that is how this data scientist word was coined in 2008 and once this word was coined not only they they gave this title to themselves uh everybody in silicon valley like everybody who hold the phd in computer science or anybody who was phd in statistics or mathematics 
they all started carrying this designation called data scientist. Now, whether the job is sexy or not, that I leave it to the debate, but uh, most of the data scientist job is not sexy, other than the kind of money they draw. Uh, the only sexiness is money, uh, but the job is pretty messy because you have to really keep on analyzing the data, clean data, and do all those kind of stuff. So this is a very brief uh, history of uh, modern data science. And in 2012, DJ Patil wrote this article for uh, uh, HBR, and then the whole world jumped on this designation called data scientist. Uh, before that, uh, after LinkedIn, DJ Patil also became the world's first chief data scientist for American government. Right? So that's a brief history of data science. So let us try to understand the definition. So I'll present you three definitions of data science. So data science is all about making sense out of the data, uh, which essentially means that uh, if I give you the data, you should be able to really analyze. And uh, all of us every day, 24 by seven, we keep on analyzing the data. Even dog does that. So while crossing a street, you actually look around and see uh, and subconscious mind, you can actually do the calculation, mathematical calculation at what speed the car is coming and what is the probability of you uh, crossing the street alive. And those kind of mathematical calculations your brain is able to do because it has been evolved over billions of millions of years and you are able to really do those mathematical calculations. Let's come down to the uh, real world scenario. If you want to really uh, identify, find out uh, what is the average ticket size of uh, product customers are buying here in India? Uh, and Amazon want to really know uh, how many people are actually uh, buying iPhone vis a vis OnePlus. Uh, what will be the population of Hyderabad in the next five years? Right? And if looking at the hospitalization rate and uh, say uh, the positivity rate of this uh, COVID 19 test, uh, can you really predict that? at when we need to really put the lockdown or when we need to really make uh, mask mandatory. These kind of decisions every day, day and night, we really take. Uh, what will be the stock price of uh, Tech Mahindra's stock say next week? These kind of questions, if you have to really answer, we need to analyze the data. And data science is all about analyzing the data. The only challenge over here, because that's what everybody was doing, that's what data scientists, data, that's what business analysts or data analysts were doing. Uh, what difference data science has brought into this game uh, is about the nature of the data. So far, pre-2000, we were analyzing the structured data. Post-2000, uh, since the, all these internet companies, whether it is Google or a Facebook or Amazon, uh, barring uh, Facebook, most of these internet companies came in mid-90s and late 90s. Google came in 95. Uh, uh, Amazon came in 95 and Google came in 99 and none of them actually knew how they will make money. So they actually started collecting the data uh, because they wanted to really give the advertisement and that's how they can make money. So Facebook makes money by giving you the advertisement. Google makes money by giving you the advertisement, not by running the search engine. So if I have to really uh, offer you relevant advertisement, every day I can't really show you the ad related to only uh, say, uh, dosa on discount, right? Or Hyderabadi biryani, or I can't really keep on showing you the advertisement for white shirt. Maybe I don't like the white shirt. Maybe I like the red shirt, or maybe I like a bike. So you need to give the relevant ad so that people click and then people buy. And if I have to really give this kind of insight, I need to become your mother and I need to really start collecting the data, uh, whether it is structured data or unstructured data. Uh, structured data, the moment we say structured data, it is typically Excel sheet. There is a row column and there is a schema, where an unstructured data does not have a head and tail. It is just like a, writing a comment on Facebook, right? uploading a photograph, it's a video, it's a log file, it's a document. Uh, these are various forms of the structured and unstructured data, uh, <clears throat> semi-structured data. And analyzing this unstructured data and semi-structured data is extremely difficult. And worse, at least 90% of the data is unstructured data. And, and that's where the data science comes into the picture. So the modern data science is basically evolved version of traditional business analytics and data analytics, but uh, it encompasses 
the large volume of the data, right? And, and that's where this data has changed and that's where the modern data scientist requirement has come, right? So the simple definition of data science is making sense of the data. That's the number one definition. Uh, some of the examples is like predicting why patients are being readmitted, insurance fraud, customer analytics, fraud detection, uh, whether I have done this credit card transaction, is it fraudulent or not fraudulent? Let's say I have been doing analysis, I have been doing credit card transaction in the limit of a thousand rupees. Um, uh, all of a sudden I have done transaction of 20,000 rupees. Uh, the bank will really give you the call or stop your payment because that's not normal. Risk management, stock trading, targeting advertisement, uh, website personalization, customer service, predictive maintenance, right? Earlier, uh, in my first job, we used to do the uh, periodic maintenance, right? Now, the, instead of a periodic maintenance, predictive maintenance has come, right? So you actually, you don't do monthly or quarterly or weekly maintenance. You uh, go for the repair when the, the your sensors and your analytical system is able to really tell you that this machine is likely to really uh, break down. And that you can really do based on the vibration, the temperature, uh, the other abnormalities, the power consumption, and so many stuff. And that data you keep on collecting through the, the sensors, IoT sensors. And based on that, you can really actually build the predictive model. It is being used in cybersecurity. It is being used in speech recognition, uh, <clears throat> medical diagnosis. And recently, if you have seen this uh, Google uh, I.O. conference, uh, you might, uh, you will appreciate definitely that how Google has transformed itself into completely AI and ML company, right? So Sundar Pachoy has this time has given complete talk about machine learning, machine learning, and nothing else. <clears throat> These are the some of the projects which we are doing at our uh, own lab, which is a skill in job trend analysis, job recommender system. We did the churn prediction for uh, leading ISP for 20 million customers. Chan prediction essentially is to identify which customer is going to stay with you and which customer is going to leave you, right? Uh, AI proctoring system, which is being used in another company, uh, Muni Campus. And in Muni Campus, uh, we have developed online assessment examination way back in 2006. Uh, and we started India's first campus recruitment testing. And that company I used to had, it was named as a G4 Solutions. Now the new avatar of this company is called Muni Campus. And uh, some of you might be appearing for the uh, campus recruitment test through our platform. There, now we have used AI proctoring. AI proctoring system uh, regularly checks your photographs and it tries to eliminate or reduce down the impersonation. So instead of Rajesh, if Ramesh tries to appear for the examination, it will detect. If you're using the headphone, it will detect. It will also detect your location. To give you example, we were doing an online examination for uh, Goa University, Goa entrance examination. And uh, the examination started at 10 o'clock. And the gender of that candidate was a female. Uh, and at 10.15, and the location was Panji. At 10.15, the, the gender of that person is changed from girl to uh, boy, uh, female to male. And the location changed from Panji to Delhi, right? Now imagine our system could really give a flag and we could really bar that candidate. It is not possible while you're conducting examination for thousands and thousands of candidates in online. So it is used heavily in education and we are running the data science for learning at our uh, lab. We are doing a lot of research in that area. Uh, fraud detection for leading bank, chatbot, uh, finding customer behavior, course recommender system, right? So all those kind of stuff we do at our uh, lab. The next definition, the second definition of modern data science is data science is uh, typically uh, traditional analytics plus big data plus AI. And let me explain you. Uh, <clears throat> so let's say we were doing the churn prediction of uh, leading telco for 20 million customers. 20 million customer data you can't keep in a laptop and you can't analyze. So it's a two crore customer and we have to identify which customer is likely to leave or do the churn. And that was a big data project, right? So what churn companies are identifying for last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, right? So it is nothing new. It is a traditional analytics problem. 
but you have to identify this churn on a large uh, data. So the modern data science, you can say modern analytics is data science, is a composition of traditional analytics, which you do at a large data set, which is called big data. And big data has got characteristics about a variety of the data, structured, unstructured data, which has got images, videos, text, uh, structured data, right, log file. And if you have to really analyze the variety of the data, you also need various AI techniques. Let's say structured data you can analyze with, uh, say, Excel sheet. But if you have to really analyze, say, text data or image data, you require various other AI techniques. Like, for example, to analyze text, you need to know much uh, natural language processing. So, for example, you have rolled out a, a product and you want to know the customer sentiment based on what customers have written reviews about that you should be able to capable enough to really read those statements and comments and comprehend whether the uh, sentiments were positive or not, whether reviews were positive or not, or so that you can really take action. Uh, likewise, as I have uh, talked about this AI proctoring system or security system, you are analyzing the video footage or you're analyzing the image. And for that, you need a subset of AI field, which is called computer vision, right? For variety of the data or for some kind of structured data, you can really use machine learning to do the prediction. Like for example, well, how much rainfall Hyderabad will have this July, right? And that you can really do build up a regression model based on the last 20, 30 years rainfall data in Hyderabad. So the point is the modern analytics or modern data science is classical old analytics done on the big data using various AI techniques. That's the second definition uh, which I'm proposing, right? Uh, let me show you uh, example video. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go. What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that, that simple. Take whatever you like. Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out Technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. So this is a, like one of the great example, real life example of how AI and modern data science is being used. So this is this kind of stores are popping up across the world. And uh, Amazon has started in uh, Seattle. <clears throat> and this uses the complex technologies like computer vision, machine learning, deep learning, right? The IoT sensors. And that's where uh, the world is going. <clears throat> The third definition which I wanted to propose is basically data science is all about automating data science by building data products. And data product, we can call it like an AI product as well. So essentially what we are trying to really tell that data science, if you really see the first definition, data science is all about making the sense out of the data. Now, if you have to really automate this whole decision-making process rather than doing it manually again and again, uh, you build a data product so that every time you don't have to do the manual analysis. Let me explain it by the example. Now, this kind of recommender system, uh, all of you must have seen on Google or Amazon or Flipkart, right? Now, this is basically a data product. Uh, when we say data product, it's basically 
this product is a consum is a product of a data right so uh, the major ingredient in building up this product is data uh, how it works it works it behaves the same way as uh, a shopkeeper in a maybe in a shopping mall if you go and uh, ask shopkeeper okay show me a white shirt he shows you the white shirt not red shirt and the recommended system precisely does that uh, typically one third to two third of the revenue of majority of the e-commerce companies comes from this recommender system right and what this recommender system is doing is replicating your data analytical process on the fly right and giving the recommendation to the customer uh, not doing it manually because you can't really expect a customer to really send an email that yes rajesh you were searching for the gray shirt and here are the five recommendations recommendations no the customer don't want the customer want immediately right so recommendation is basically a machine learning product which uh, amazon mastered which is like a for example netflix is a product of that netflix has become billion dollar organization because of this recommender system uh, reliant geo geomart geomart uh, the recommender system you guys can really go and check uh, if you really buy the mustard oil it will give you the recommendation of a sunflower oil and that recommender system was built by our student shruti jope and she was a bcom student <clears throat> now <clears throat> there are some other uh, examples let me show good morning all of you so this is some of our student group is relevant to this images so we have and 100 captions generated to it what what these student have done they presented in data science congress these are our three students uh what they have done they can generate the story out of a image so if you upload the image uh this uh, our system the deep learning system will generate the story will be able to really extract the context out of this and will generate a funny story uh and this is this is one of the very exciting very high end project these folks have done <clears throat> the the other group of student what they have done they have uh, done the card damage detection uh, using the deep learning right and <clears throat> these folks they have so first the user have to upload an image where a number plate is visible so that we can validate that this car is registered with an insurance company so as you can see that number plate has been detected and this is the number plate second step is we have to upload an image of a car where damage is visible so here our image classification and image segmentation model will be working in back end so as you can see in an, in this output image that clearly a dent has been detected in the front and you can see that car it is validated damage is validated location is front and severity is severe and this is our team so these uh, folks have done this project which is car damage detection right and any insurance company can really use that and they are they have used the uh, deep learning so automatically based on the damage car photograph you can actually de uh, detect what kind of damage what level of damage it is being done right similarly another very our student has done is basically our shahar to watson that's a good length ball and he gets down on his haunches and sweeps this towards boundary so what this project does is basically uh, generate the commentary out of the video so there is no human which is needed to really generate the commentary right so these are some very exciting projects which you can really do using the machine learning and deep learning right? now <clears throat> now this is another project which we have done uh, is basically to identify missing children to detect missing children and to stop women trafficking and this project again we have used deep learning machine learning to really do so right we are also using deep learning machine learning and data science in term of really uh, identifying what kind of skills which are needed to become a data scientist so this we have done on the based on the 21000 jobs 24000 jobs and these are the critical skills we could really identify uh for you to become a data scientist so one of the most important skill set which you will require to become data scientist is basically python sql uh machine learning right hadoop statistics r language nlp these are the some of the skills key skills which you will require to become a data scientist right <clears throat> 
<clears throat> now if you have any questions i would be really glad to answer uh, your questions or we can really maybe we can really take at the end right? now <clears throat> where data science is being used data science is being applied in e-commerce telecom social media it software retail healthcare almost every industry right and to become data scientist what you require or what skills you need to know is basically statistics mathematics probability linear algebra right calculus uh, because every algorithm uh, is essentially a mathematical formula uh, let's say linear regression is there in statistics for last 200 years recently borrowed in machine learning so if you don't understand linear regression you will not be able to do machine learning so the growing trend which i am seeing that most of the people just learn python they just call the functions without understanding the mathematics so if you don't understand the math uh, behind that you will become absolutely horrible bad data scientist or a machine learning engineer right so you the foundation of uh, uh, data science or machine learning is essentially the math uh, then machine learning, of course, you need to know the machine learning because with machine learning, deep learning, you'll be able to really build the predictive models or the classification model. And a lot of IT tools like uh, R, Python, Hadoop, Spark, uh, Microsoft Azure, ML, right? So there are tons of tools which keeps on coming and going. Uh, maybe Tableau or ClickSense for visualization. These are the some top skills uh, which, which are needed to become a data scientist, right? <clears throat> uh, what data science covers is a data integration, distributed architecture, automating machine learning, visualization, dashboarding, data engineering, right? Now, a lot of students, they ask this question, what is the difference between data science versus AI? So this is the wrong question to actually ask. Uh, data science is basically making sense out of the data and data science uses various AI techniques, which are the AI techniques, machine learning, deep learning, nature language processing, computer vision, right? Uh, big data. So these are the techniques which data science uses to analyze the large volume of the data and variety of the data, which I already spoke about. Right? Now, a lot of people, they ask this question that what is the difference between data scientists and business analysts and data analysts? So this first guy, uh, like a, who is a stone age guy, is jokingly is a data analyst. Then this middle person is basically business analyst. And this Iron Man is data scientist. So data scientists, they have got the superior skills. They can analyze the large volume of the data, variety of the data, and they also know deep learning. They know the various AI techniques. <clears throat> and that was the reason data scientists are much in demand. And that's the reason most of the data scientists are now replacing business analysts and data analysts, or by, uh, most of the business analysts, data analysts are trying to really become a data scientist. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so I think uh, that is what I wanted to really convey about uh, data science uh, in quickly nutshell, right? And uh, <clears throat> if you guys have any question, feel free to really ask. Uh, I would not be covering AI and other stuff uh, in my talk, right? Uh, what I can further talk about that if you have to really become data scientist, where you should really start your journey. Uh, so how do I really enter into this field? What essentially you should do? Uh, read a lot of blogs in this data science gyan.com or there are several blogs out there. Uh, go on uh, AWS site or uh, say Google uh, AI YouTube channel, right? Uh, read, watch videos, and you'll get to know a lot about uh, data science or machine learning or AI. Uh, you should also participate in this uh, data science uh, talent hunt examination, which is conducted by AGIS, uh, National Wide. And there we provide 100% scholarship to the candidate. Uh, currently, we are inviting applications. After this webinar, our team will really share those links and put it in the chat so you can apply for this uh, Aegis Graham Talent Hunt examination. And there, you will be provided a scholarship to study data science, AI, uh, machine learning with Aegis. And you'll also be able to really work on the uh, real life projects and a couple of them I spoke about. Right. 
uh, you can uh, just take a photograph of this screen. You can download white paper, uh, which was published by Aegis and Deloitte on data science transforming the ICT industry and uh, opportunities in telecom rising with big data. These are two wonderful white papers, which will give you a lot of insight about what is data science, what is big data, right? Uh, you can download these white papers and read. What you can also do if you want to really, if you're serious about entering into this field, you should pick up short courses uh, from Muni, uh, our portal, Muni campus. You can do short courses on Python, machine learning, deep learning, uh, right? Or you can do a course there or edX, multiple platforms are there, or even Swim is there. Uh, you can join the structured program like MS or PG programs in data science, business analytics, big data. Uh, those who know Python, machine learning, deep learning, uh, uh, do some real life projects. Uh, you can approach us. We also offer internship every year, 20, 30 candidates. We hire as intern and you work on those live uh, projects. Uh, we do not charge for the internship. Uh, join as a research associate with AGES. So every year we take a lot of research associates. And uh, even faculty members come as a research associate. Uh, and of course, last participate in AGB National Talent Hunt for data science, AI, uh, cybersecurity, right? <clears throat> and there uh, you may get a uh, scholarship. So that's all <clears throat> I'm done. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. I would be glad to take a couple of questions. So it seems that uh, <clears throat> there's no question. So uh, thank you, uh, Professor Nita. <clears throat> uh, and thank you so much for hosting this uh, webinar. Uh, I would be glad to sometime really come and take physical session in your campus. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> thank you so much. Maybe sometime next we can really take a session on uh, demystifying AI, but uh, this session I just wanted to focus on only on data science. Sure, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank you, sir. That was a wonderful webinar and you have made a lot of information from this webinar.